So this is lesson seven of the social emotional learning curriculum. The purpose of this lesson is for you to recognize that your history plays a huge role in the person that you are today and the person that you will wind up being in the future. We want you to recognize that sometimes uh, social political structures and events that might be happening around you will influence the way that you behave. And so in this lesson, you will have the opportunity to, to really dig in, to excavate the personal history um, that you have and um, see how you can use that to plan for the future. Your main learning targets, there are two of them. One, I can recognize and address the historic and social political events that have created trauma and affected my experiences and the experiences of my peers as we navigate our world today. Two, I can look at the history of social changes and plan to improve the future with my action. So the agenda is not very long uh, because there are not as many steps uh, for this lesson. So you can get, see that and use that as a gauge for how long you will need to do this. I would say about an hour or so. So what else do I need to know? This lesson is anchored around a speech that was delivered by James Baldwin over 55 years ago. So before you watch the video, what I want you to do is really take some time to look at some of these historic events that were happening at the time that James Baldwin delivered this speech or a little bit before. Okay. Um, Click on each link and you can read about certain things that were happening at the time. The civil rights movement was big in the in um, the 60s, right? Earlier, um, started in the 50s. Um, what are some, the, what's the history of racial um, and political protest in, in, in the U.S.? Uh, Lyndon Johnson, who's that guy? What is he about anyway? And the slave bill. What's that? You know, these are all things that are mentioned in the speech by James Baldwin. And so it's good for you to know these things before you listen to the speech so you can have a really good understanding of what he's talking about. While you're listening to the speech, if you want to come back and click on some of these links so you can have an understanding it while you're listening to it, that's a really great idea too. So let's talk about and think about why does this learning matter? So for this section, I want you to think about why does this learning matter today? What's the reason why it's something that's important for us to start thinking about and learning about as our world progresses today? Some of the words that you might come across in this lesson um, or here in the vocabulary review. So if you see something that's unfamiliar, you can use these, uh, the, you can use this vocabulary review or you can use the one that's at the top here on the glossary, it's on the top of each page, okay? Um, and if not, then you can always look it up online. Some of the skills that you will wind up um, using or you'll have an option to use are here. There are at least four different things that are listed, but again, there are different ways that you can ex uh, execute this. And so if you uh, choose another way that helps you, then that's fine. These are all ways that we suggest that you do this. One of the things I do wanna hi highlight is that when you're using computer, versus an iPad or iPhone or even an Android phone. Um, some of these uh, technology might work differently. So just be aware of that. If you don't see a link here, then you can you know, find something online. Usually there are lots of links out there on YouTube. Uh, so here's a video that I referred to earlier, um, the speech that was uh, given by James Baldwin. Um, and so you click on this link and it will take you to the speech and it's a video as well so you can watch him and see what he's looking like and how he carries himself as he delivers the speech. Now after you do watch the video, uh, think about 
um, the things that you just saw in the video, the things that you just heard him talk about. And so here's a breakdown of some questions that will help you to start thinking deeper about some of the things that James Baldwin addresses in his speech. So now you're on to step three. In step three, you will plan a dialogue that you would want to have with James Baldwin. Imagine yourself speaking directly to James Baldwin. What would you say? Here are a list of questions, a few questions to help you think about and process that before you begin the next step. So answer these questions because they will help you to clarify what you want to do. After you've answered these questions, move on to step four, which is to create a dialogue. Now you have an opportunity to use all the answers from uh, the questions that you were asked before to create a dialogue and write it down. So that way, when it's time for you to record your dialogue, you'll have a script to use. Think of at least five questions that you want to ask James Baldwin. If there are more questions that you have, feel free to ask more than five questions, but five is a really good starting point. So imagine yourself talking to him. What are some questions that you'll have for him? What do you think he would respond to your questions? Is it possible that he might respond to your question with a question? If that's the case, add it in. Once you have your dialogue written out and your script written out, now the next step is to record that. In recording the script, there are many different ways that you can do it. You can create a Flipgrid, you can use iMovie, you can use Padlet, you can even create a, a timeline a story on your Instagram timeline and share it with us. However you want to do it, that's up to you. If you've decided to use Flipgrid, here is the login code for this particular lesson that you can use in Flipgrid. If you want to use Padlet, you can go ahead and create your own Padlet. If you're still not sure which one of these you want to do or how you want to do this, here are some really good examples of how you can use any of those programs to do this project. You can create an iMovie, you can create a timeline on Instagram, you can even look at Padlets from previous students to see how they use Padlets, uh, Padlet to uh, create a story or to tell a story. So these are just examples for you to look at so that you can get ideas of how you can do it. Once you are done with your project, once you're done with your recording, make sure that you insert a link here. If it's Flipgrid, it will automatically save it for you. But if you do something on Instagram, or even if you do an iMovie or Padlet, you might wanna insert this here before you return your work to your teacher. Before you press send, before you press complete, make sure you insert it here so that your teacher will be able to see it and be able to see that you were able to successfully complete this project. One more thing that you might wanna do, check for yourself that you were able to meet all of the learning targets for this actual project. Just go through it, read through it, check them off, and then once you're done, move on to lesson eight.